Marathon Man is a 1976 thriller starring Dustin Hoffman, directed by John Sleisinger and written by William Goldman, the writer of the best-written film of all time, The Princess Bride. Structurally, the film is much in the vein of Hitchcock's Wrong Men on the Run films like The 39 Steps, North by Northwest, and obviously, The Wrong Man. I say structurally similar, because Dustin Hoffman's character Babe is involved in the story not by a case of mistaken identity or a false attribution of guilt, but his association with his brother who, unbeknownst to him, works for the government in top secret capacity. He is, however, on the run in a much more literal sense, in that he is an avid runner and training to be, as the title suggests, a long distance sprinter. The scene in which I'll be discussing today involves Babe's secret agent brother, Doc, played by Roy Schreider, that takes place before Babe is brought into the espionage plot. Prior to this scene, he was almost killed by a bomb after he had arranged to meet with a French antique store clerk at an opera. When he arrives at the opera, the clerk has been killed in his box seat. The scene takes place immediately after he discovers the clerk's body and is trying to rendezvous with one of his fellow agents, Nicole. The scene enhances the sense of paranoia by using mise-en-scene and forces the audience to experience it with him through editing and cinematography. The suspense of this scene is built on the backs of previous scenes, namely the bomb and the dead clerk, and its use of dark shadows to not only heighten the tone of the scene, but also to obscure details such as what exactly happened to Nicole and where the attackers could possibly be. The large columns present throughout the scene dwarf Doc in comparison and highlight outside forces closing in on him. When Nicole walks into the dark streets, we cut from a medium shot of Doc and then to a wide-angle shot of the exit Nicole just walked through. Doc is literally and figuratively asking for a response from Nicole, and the silence serves to build tension until that tension is released with the ball. The push into a close-up of Doc's face matches the motion of the ball, and the rest of the cuts back to Doc's face stay in this close-up until he runs away. With the camera now almost touching his face, the audience now feels the anxiety and panic Doc has after seeing the ball. It's a fairly simple but effective technique of using cinematography to make an audience experience the emotions of the character on screen, particularly anxiety and paranoia. This contrasts beautifully with the scene from Notorious, where Alicia is shaking hands with all of Sebastian's Nazi friends. We never get a shot like the push-in on Roy Schreider's terrified expression because the entire shot is a POV shot. The crucial difference between the two shots is in one of them, we know the threat. We know they're all Nazis and notorious, and what each of them could potentially do to Alicia if they discover her mission. In Marathon Man, however, we don't know what happened to Nicole. The way Notorious is shot makes the audience form whatever sort of emotion that Alicia is feeling in that moment, whereas Marathon Man shows you how Doc is feeling and makes you put two and two together as to why he feels that way. <laughs> 